Hey Flutter friends, ever find yourself wrestling with state management in your apps? You're not alone. Today, we're throwing down in an epic showdown, the state of the state. Provider versus Block versus Riverpod. We'll be dissecting these three popular solutions to help you choose the champion for your next Flutter project. Before we dive in, let's rewind. Imagine you're building a killer counter app. Users tap a button, the number goes up. Simple, right? But what if you want to display that number on different screens? That's where state management comes in. It's like the brain of your app, keeping track of changing data and updating the UI accordingly. Now, let's meet our contenders. Provider. In the blue corner, we have the OG, the granddaddy of Flutter state management, Provider. Provider's all about simplicity. It uses providers and consumers to distribute data throughout your app. Think of it like a global announcement system where everyone can hear the latest updates. Block. In the red corner, we have the structured fighter. Block. Block enforces a clear separation of concerns with events and states. You throw events at the block, it reacts, and bam, your UI updates. It's like a well-trained martial artist, precise and powerful. Riverpod. And finally, in the green corner, the new challenger, Riverpod. This lightweight solution combines some provider concepts with block-like data flow. It's the young upstart, ready to prove its worth. Let's put provider to the test with our counter app. We'll create a provider that holds the counter value, and any widget that needs it can simply consume that provider. Let's quickly install provider package to our project. Here we have created two files, main and page two. Here in main.dart, we have created a counter provider. Class counter has method increment, which will be used to increment our counter. On floating button pressed, we called counter provider to increment the counter value. And another floating button is to navigate to page two. Now in count widget, we used context.watch to get the latest counter value from counter provider. In page two, we use the provider's consumer builder to get the latest counter value. Great. Now let's run the app and see if counter value change in all the screens. See how easy that is. But wait, what about complex apps with tons of providers? Things can get messy and debugging becomes a detective game. Now, let's see how Block handles the counter. Let's quickly add Block to our project. Here again we have two files main.dart and page2.dart. In main we define events, like increment or decrement, and states, the current counter value. When an event is triggered, the block updates the state, and our UI reacts accordingly. Here is our main app, and we have created a material app wrapped with block provider using our counter block. This is our stateless widget counter view. Here we used block builder to get the counter latest value from our counter block. And again, floating action buttons. First one is to navigate to page two and others are to increment and decrement counter values. For increment and decrement, we have implemented on pressed using context dot red and counter increment and counter decrement accordingly.
Here on page 2, we again used Block Builder to get the latest counter values from our counter block. Great! Now let's run the app and see if counter value change in all the screens. And here's our app, see how easy that is? Block is great for organization, especially in larger apps. But for simpler projects, it might feel like using a sledgehammer to crack a nut. Finally, let's see RiverPod in action. It offers a similar provider-based approach to provider, but with hooks for accessing and updating state. Let's quickly add RiverPod to our project. Here again we have got two files main.dart and page2.dart. In main.dart we have my app material app and a stateless widget home. And here we have defined our counter provider whose counter default value to zero. Here we have used consumer builder to get the latest counter value from our counter provider, defined above. And again floating action buttons, first one is to navigate to page 2, and others are to increment counter values. For increment we have implemented on pressed using ref.red and counter increment. Here on page 2, we again use consumer builder to get the latest counter values from our counter provider. Great! Now let's run the app and see if counter value change in all the screens. And here's our app, see how easy that is? RiverPod is lightweight and easy to learn, but it's still a young contender with less community support compared to the others. So, who wins this state management showdown? Well, it depends on your project. Here's a quick cheat sheet. For simple apps, Provider's ease of use might be the sweet spot. For complex apps, block structure and organization can be a lifesaver. For a balance, RiverPod could be a good middle ground, but keep in mind its evolving nature. Remember, the best solution is the one that fits your needs and makes you feel comfortable. Don't be afraid to experiment. There are plenty of resources out there for each of these solutions. Now go forth, flutter friends, and conquer state management.